Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to see if AI is capable of writing cold emails that are compelling, that get opened, that convert. I run a lead generation business, and so I've got a pretty keen eye for what works, what type of messages works, what gets clicks, what gets opens, uh, what keeps people engaged. And I'm going to see if I can actually create good, compelling emails using chat GPT. Let's get straight into it. So first things first, I'm in the lead generation industry. I have no idea who I can reach out to. So I'm actually going to ask chat GPT to come up with ideas for me. So let's have a go. What type of niches may require a lead generation service? So there are many types of businesses and organizations that can benefit from using the lead generation service. B2B companies. Yes, many B2B companies rely on lead generation services. E-commerce businesses. Yes, I'd like it to be a little bit more specific than this, but let's see if it gets more specific. Non-profit organizations, professional services, firms, professional services, such as law firms, accounting firms, marketing agencies. Yes, it's getting a little bit closer there. I want to ask now, do dentists need lead generation services? So it understands then that dentists do actually need lead generation services as well. So let's go with that as my niche and see if we can come up with a cold email for that particular niche now. See if it actually understands what I'm asking it to do. So I've written here, so I'm going to target dentists, helping them with lead generation. My lead generation technique is Instagram growth. So like sending DMs to potential clients and growing their own personal Instagram. Write me a cold email pitch that I can send to dental practices based on the above. So I've actually done something a little bit interesting here. As I was typing this up, thinking out loud to myself, I wrote my lead generation technique is Instagram growth. So like sending DMs to potential clients and growing their own personal Instagram. Now, I don't obviously mean growing dental clients, personal Instagrams, but that's what it reads like. So I'm going to see if ChatGPT is actually smart enough to figure that out, but that's not what I meant. I hope this email finds you well. I noticed that you have an active Instagram account and I wanted to reach out to see if you'd be interested in a unique lead generation opportunity. So, uh, I mean, it's written it, but it's written it very formal. It's written it in a way where, which I would absolutely advise people don't write a cold email in the way. Like there's nothing attention grabbing about this. And the fact that they've used lead generation opportunity uh, makes it sound a little bit like, it's a bit scammy, to be honest with you. What I love, though, it's written exactly what my service offering will be. So I specialize in helping businesses like yours grow their Instagram accounts and generate leads from targeted marketing efforts. My approach involves sending personalized DMs to potential clients, engaging with relevant hashtags and influencers, and creating high-quality content that showcases your uh, services and expertise. So what's interesting here, is I've only written uh, send potential uh, send DMs to potential clients and grow their personal Instagram. So not only is it understood that I didn't mean grow dental clients potential Instagrams, but it's actually added in a few other different methodologies uh, as part of my service delivery, which is pretty insane when you think about that. It's used its common sense there. Um, <laughs> I just want to point out. If you are a lead generation service and you're watching this, please don't offer to send personalized DMs to dental practice clients, right? I mean, like, just think about that for a second. What, what are you going to say to them? Your teeth look pretty bad. Get to our dental practice. It's not going to work. Just don't do it. Trust me, you'll offend a lot of people. Because it's a little bit formal here, I actually want to tell it to be a little bit less formal. I hope this email finds you well. I noticed that you have an... Uh, active Instagram account. And I wanted to see if you'd be interested in working with me to grow your account and attract more patients. So it's actually written in a little bit of a human element here. No pressure. Just want to see if it's a good fit for both of us, which is pretty cool. But it's made a mistake when it comes to lead generation. Generally in lead generation, if you don't suggest a concrete time to someone, if you're trying to make the lead do the work for you, so looking through their own availability and coming back to you with what times are available, you've kind of lost it there. So what we want to do in lead generation is actually come across with a strong call to action. So a call to action, which says I'm free at this time or I'm free at this time or, you know, your calendar link. So what I want to do is tell ChatGPT what my availability is 
and then tell it to make a stronger call to action out of it. I wonder if it can understand what I'm asking it to do. So I've written, rewrite the above email, but include as your call to action two random times during the next week where they can book a call with me. My availability is free from 1 p.m. Monday and Tuesday and just in the morning on Thursday and Friday. So I'm only available in the mornings on Thursday and Friday and I'm free in the afternoons on Monday and Tuesday. Let's see what it comes up with. So it's written here, if you're interested in learning more, I'm available for a call at 1 p.m. on Monday and Tuesday or in the morning on Thursday or Friday. Just let me know which date and time works best for you and I'll make sure to schedule the call. So it's not exactly what I was after. Um, it's listed down the appropriate times for them, but it's not just picked two out of it. But maybe that's because of how I phrased it. So as a new prompt for it, I've written only include two times of availability in your email. Hi, dental practice, yada, yada, yada. So we can see on this one here, it's actually got it right. I'm available for a call at 1 p.m. on Monday or in the morning on Thursday. So it's understood what I've meant when I gave it my availability. It required me to actually specifically specify to it just put two times in, but still, that's pretty impressive. Now what I want it to do is to make the third paragraph a bit more punchy, putting it in bullet points instead, so it's actually a little bit better. Let's see what it does. So it's done exactly that. It's created three bullet points, and now I want it to rewrite the email, if I can actually spell rewrite the email, including the bullet points. And I'm, I'm gonna make an effort not to actually correct my spelling here. All right. Now make it shorter. So it's now, it's literally condensed everything down into just what's necessary to be read. So when you're sending emails or messages to people, um, most entrepreneurs have this mistake of, you know, they make the mistake of like creating this massive war and peace out of um, just a simple request, right? But what people tend to do is to be like, that's too long, I don't want to read this. Um, and they don't tend to read it. And as a result, like you don't even get past like the second stage, which is making them engage with it. So make sure that all your cold emails, even all of your warm emails as well, for, for that matter, you're sending them out and they're actually um, readable. So short, punchy, straight to the point, right? So that's exactly what this has done here. I'm impressed with ChatGPT. Now I want it to create me basically some subject lines based on the above that I can, uh, as just ideas, right, for what I can actually attach to this email. So suggest 10 subject lines for this. Suggest 10 subject lines for this email. Maximize your Instagram reach with targeted marketing. Grow your dental practice in Instagram. Attract new patients. Okay, cool. So like lots of compelling suggestions here. Um, now make each of these suggestions more punchy. Boom, let's see what it comes up with. So it's telling me what the original one was and it's telling me what the new one was as well, which is pretty cool. So you can see how this, is, this can help you. Now, there's a few different arguments for not using ChatGPT for like marketing. And I, want, I actually wanna go over them a little bit in this video because I think it's important, to, something to consider. We can see that it's competent at actually writing emails. We can see that it requires a few additional prompts as well to actually make it a little bit better. We can see that um, you know it, it requires a little bit of editing here, there, and uh, here, there, and everywhere, right? So the thing is, is most people's arguments is like you shouldn't use AI because basically people can tell it's AI. They can tell it's not very good. They can tell that like it's written by a robot. And to that, I've got to say, you know what? Um, maybe some people can't tell it's written by, by AI. But if you write a first draft of anything, even if you've written the full thing yourself, right, you're still going to need to go through it and edit little bits of it. That's just human nature. So why not do the same with AI writing something for you? And sure, it can't get quite, um, you know, the level of detail of a copywriter, right? But let me just tell you, after working with tons and tons of different entrepreneurs, tons of business owners, 99.9% .9 of people can't get it right either. So it's not like it's any big loss. It's not like it's detrimental to you. And also, if you can use AI to actually produce work for you, work that, you know, it's 80% complete and then you have to fiddle with the other 20%. 
will lack better than nothing that most people actually produce. Most people actually, you know, don't send any emails a week to their email list. They don't try to engage with their current audience. They don't know what to write when it comes to posts and things like this. Um, and if you can put relevant prompts in saying, hey, you know what, this is um, what my experience is. I want you to reformat that. this paragraph saying this, like it's so much better. And, you know, so... 80% is better than 0%, right? And that's what I would say to that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you can see that this can actually help your lead generation efforts. And like in 2022, this software is absolutely incredible. We're not just typing into Google a simple little search term and hoping that Google will bring back something relevant for us. We can actually type things in and have ChatGPT remember what we have previously said to it. So that blows my mind, first of all, and it improves on with further responses what we've asked it. And I think generally the better prompts you can ask something, the better the output will be generally. And even if it's not great, you just go back to it again because it can remember what it's written and say, change this bit. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. See you soon.